Hi, I'm Vicky. I'm glad you're here. Today I'm back with the art journals that I have been working on and I'm going to take you through a short trip through what I have already completed in this Dilusions art journal by Ranger. I have a few things I have already done and I just wanted to show them to you. So let's start with the front cover. Inside the front cover, it was just plain white paper and I thought, oh, I can't have that. So I got out some Distress Oxide inks in picked raspberry and wilted violet and some shimmer sprays and just went to town on that very first page. Now this art stencil, I just sponged in with the same colors. It had these splodges on it, which were kind of cool. And I put some tiny little embellishments on with some Nouveau drops on these little art quotes that I stamped in using Onyx Versafine black ink. And I used this stamp set here, which is from the Unity Stamp Company. And it has all these cool quotes about art on the back of it. And I've used this on quite a few projects. I do enjoy it. It's called Art and Possibility. I'll take you through a few more of the pages in my art journal and then we're going to get on to a brand new double page spread which I'll demonstrate. So here are some of my art dolls, my Blythe dolls that I have been illustrating. I was doing a couple of ATC cards so I thought I'm going to put them into the journal with some stamps. This is Peachy by Kaiser Craft. It has these lovely little inspirational sayings. And so I used black embossing powder and I heat set embossed those. Just did some really simple thick lines with a black Sharpie around to make frames. And here are some of the backgrounds that are already done in this book for you. It just makes it so easy. So here's another little drawing I did. And this stamp set here is a really sweet one from Impression Obsession. And it's a quote by Mandy Hale. And it's a really sweet little quote. And I really liked the saying, be yourself. Let people see the imperfect, flawed, quirky, weird, beautiful, magical person that you really are. I thought that was just the most gorgeous stamp. More backgrounds coming up here. This page was made using elements from... Art by Marlene, her sticker book. And I'll show you that sticker book. I've used lots of washi tape and ripped edges and coloured it in with watercolour markers and added lots of white watercolour crayon. This is the book that that comes from. So this is the Out of This World Paper Elements book. And you can see how cool these images are. They're really quirky and unusual, and they're lots of fun to put into something like one of these art journals. Now, the next double page I wanted to show you, I have a tutorial on, and this was made using a sticker book from Spotlight, which is available through American Crafts. I have a whole stash of these. Every time I go into the store, I make sure I buy another one. I love them. They have something like 1,500 stickers in each book. So I'm just looking through to see which page I'd like. This yellow is so cheerful, isn't it? So I think I'll go with this. And I have this boho stamp from Woodware Craft Collection. It's a clear stamp set designed by Francois Reed. And the number is FRS394 on the back there. So it's little boho sayings. And the sticker book that I have to go with this will match this really beautifully. This is made in the UK by a company called creativeexpressions.uk.com. So you can see the stamps. Really nice sayings on them. And this is going to be all about hiking because the sticker book I have here is from One Canoe Two. And I purchased it from Spotlight. It is available through American Crafts in the US. And this is just a quick idea of some of the beautiful images in here. 
There are a few planner images in there, which I won't be using, but the hiking images and the gold foil embellishments and the clear stickers, they're just adorable. So I'm just going to go through the book. This is how I approach this. I take out any pages that I think might work. And you can see I've already used up some of these butterflies. I love them. I think I'll have some butterflies. I'll have that nice backpack just down in the right-hand corner there. Um, going through and just seeing what else there might be that might work. I'll have a look. These are more planner stickers, so I'll just gloss over those. And, oh, I do like the look of that camera. I think a camera for documenting a hike will work in this page that I have planned or the double page that I have planned. More stickers, we don't need those. Maybe I'll use these, they're gold foil stickers. I could perhaps create a word with that. I'm not entirely sure, they're a bit shiny and gold, not really what I'm thinking of, but I'll just take them out in case I do decide to use them. Nice little images in this book. Here's a canoe and I must put a canoe in this because I like to go out on my kayak. We live on the river here and I love kayaking. So I have to put that canoe in. Really pretty little images here. I might use some of those. I love the colors. Not sure about this. There's a lot of words already that I'm using, so I don't know that I'll use that. I'll take it just in case. But this one I think is going to be my main focal point with these rectangles. You know, it has really interesting sayings on those rectangles like let's get lost, adventure. Oh, I do like that adventure. I'll take that out. And that might be my first element. And I think just choosing that first focal point and putting it onto the page, getting it down, gets you started on this really quick project. And all I'm going to use is one stamp set and one sticker book. Now I have a few tools that I'll be bringing in like a bone folder, a fine tip black pen, some blocks to stamp with. But apart from that, everything I have is right here. This first little sticker says, take a hike. And that's going to be the theme of this book. The mountains are calling and I must go. And this one I really like. Let's get lost with lots of pine trees. And I think one more, wild and free. So these are the main pictures and words in the book. The heading is adventure, and I've figured out that these are four elements I want to put in to explain the story. And now I'm going to do some stamping with this boho set from Woodware Craft Collection. I'm going to start off with Catch Your Dreams. I'm using some VersaFine Onyx Black Ink. And I've got ink on my fingers, this happens. So baby wipes are your best friend when you're using ink. And I'm just going to line that up nice and straight and stamp that down right across the halfway point on that first page. And there's a little arrow pointing to the Catch Your Dreams there at the end. Now I did miss that letter A, so I'm just going to bring in my Ultra Fine Point Sharpie and I'll bring back that stamp so I can read where I've missed those lines and just very quickly tidy that up. And that's perfect. Catch your dreams. A baby wipe just cleans that off. And now I'm doing the second stamp, which says stand tall. And this is going on the other page. Now I just need to find a spot for it. You can see how fast this goes. It's a really quick project. It's almost done. So there's a couple of places it could go, but I think the top right hand corner is probably something that gives it a nice sense of direction. I like it. Stand tall. So it's coming together and look how nicely all that integrates with those backgrounds that are already done for you. Now I have these two little images, a feather and a star. So I'm going to mount them up on blocks and have them ready for when I need them. 
And I really do want to use this backpack because this is going to tell part of the story, which is a camping trip. And I'm going to put that in the top right hand section, right in the center. And I'm looking at those thinking they're a bit too much gold in them. I don't actually think I used any gold embellishments at all. It just didn't seem to go with the outdoors theme. I wanted something that was a bit more rugged. There's different shapes on here that I could use. There's an acorn, but I think it's not the right color. I think I'll try maybe using this lantern. I do like this lantern. It has the colors of the background in it, so that will go together really well. And I'm just going to make a little vignette next to the backpack. And I have this thermos. Now, I don't know if you call this a thermos in the US or Canada. Um, in Australia, we call this a thermos. It's, I guess, a water container or water bottle. So I have my little vignette of the things I'm taking camping. I have my little sayings, let's get lost, wild and free. The mountains are calling and I must go, let's take a hike. And here's my canoe. So that's just going at an angle to fill that bottom space there. And already I can see that this is nicely balanced. I'm looking around to see that I don't have too much that is distracting the eye there. I want it to be images that are easy places for the eye to rest and I must have this camera. And I'm just putting that next to the big word with the big element. So some butterflies. I really want to put butterflies on here. And I'm thinking I need to look at something that's going to go with what I already have. There's one that is a lovely orange color, which will go beautifully with the background. You can see how clear they are. They're just gorgeous. They integrate into the page as though they are not stickers. They're part of the artwork. They're really lovely. And there's a tiny little butterfly up here, which is a very pale color. I just think that's the right size to go with my little vignette of the backpack and the lantern and the water bottle. And I just want a green butterfly to pick up the green in that word adventure that I put down. So I'm just going to peel that off. And I think that's enough elements on my page now. I think any more, it's just going to get a little bit too crowded. And I really want to leave some space for those tiny little stamps, the tiny feather and the tiny star. So I'll start stamping that feather. And what this is going to do, it's going to integrate the stamped messages, catch your dreams and stand tall and bring everything together. And I'm turning the stamp as I go so that the feathers are in different directions. I missed stamped a little bit there. I missed some of it. Just filling it in with my ultra fine Sharpie and that's fixed it completely. Now the little star image, we're almost at the end. There's this little star, you can see it there. I think it's gorgeous. And it's just a small outline, just a very small element, just adding touches here and there as filler. And now I'm happy with that. I think that's created a really nice double page. And these are the things that I use to create it. So there's my sticker book from Spotlight by American Crafts. There's my stamp set, the Woodware Craft Collection. There's my Onyx Versafine Black Ink, my Ultra Fine Sharp Sharpie, and my Bone Folder. And a couple of blocks. How simple and easy is that? So you don't need a whole lot of supplies to create a traveller's notebook layout or an art journal layout. It's really quite simple. And this art journal is traveller's notebook size and I do have a couple of traveller's notebook covers that I can keep all my art journals in. I hope you enjoyed that today. Thanks so much. If you did enjoy it, please give me a like. And if you haven't subscribed, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any more videos. Have a fantastic week. Thanks so much. Bye for now.